There's a link to the photo in the description. It's best to have a square, seamless texture. I've provided links to tutorials showing you how to make your photo into a seamless texture in Affinity Photo, GIMP, and Photoshop. Make a new substance graph, giving it a name and using a size of 2K. You can use the metallic roughness template. Drag and drop the PNG image into Substance Painter. Link the resource. This means that any changes you make in the original file will be applied to this node as well. Begin by connecting the imported image to the base color node. Now you can see the image being applied to the 3D cube. You could delete the uniform color node. Connect the imported image to the normal node. You can delete the other normal node. You need to convert the image to grayscale. Select the connection by left clicking and dragging over it. Use the spacebar and search for grayscale conversion. Connect the imported image to the roughness node. Delete the other uniform color node. Select the connection by left clicking and dragging over it. Use the space bar and search for grayscale conversion. Select the connection between the grayscale conversion and the roughness node, then use the spacebar and search for levels. Select the levels node and use the levels histogram to change the roughness output. You can now see the lighting showing a rougher surface for the bricks. You don't need the metallic node so you can delete it. Connect the imported image to the AO node. You can delete the other uniform color node. Select the connection by left clicking and dragging over it. Use the space bar and search for grayscale conversion. Use the specific parameters to clean up the harsh dark spots on the mortar. Select the connection by left clicking and dragging over it. Use the space bar and search for ambient occlusion HBAO node. Select the connection between the AO node and the AO output, then use the spacebar and search for levels. Select the levels node and use the levels histogram to change the AO output. You can now see the lighting showing a bit of AO for the bricks. Connect the imported image to the height node. You can delete the other uniform color node. 
select the connection by left clicking and dragging over it. Use the spacebar and search for normal to height. Change the normal format to OpenGL. Change the global opacity. You can now see the lighting showing a bit of height for the bricks. The last adjustment you can do is to the height. In 3D view, under the Materials menu, choose Default and then Edit. You can now change the height scale, height level, and tessellation factor. To export the texture maps, drag select the output nodes to select all of them. Under the tools icon, choose export outputs and choose a folder. You can also change the format and pattern as well as what outputs will be exported. Choose Export Outputs. Once exported, you can close the dialog box. In Blender, I have a subdivided plane. I also have the Node Wrangler add-on activated. Under the Shading Workspace, select the Principal Shader and use Ctrl-Shift-T to open the textures you just exported. To add the AO map, add a mix color node between the Albedo map and the Principal Shader. Change the Blending Mode to Multiply. Drag in the AO map and connect the AO map to the bottom input of the mix color node. Add a shaded RGB node and diffuse node. Connecting it to the shader to RGB node. Connect the shader to RGB node to a color ramp. Connect the color ramp to the factor of the mixed color node. Switch the color stops on the color ramp. Use the color stops to determine how the AO will affect the material. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video about making brick wall textures, then you're probably interested in 3D modeling or texture art. So if you're interested in those topics, you may enjoy this video. Have a good day.